You are back, tuned in to WHFH 88.5 FM. And right now, we are going to be doing a little bit of an, an interview with a former Vietnam War veteran. Um, let, me, let me do a little introduction here. Um, joining us today is Vietnam veteran James Bandy, who is a member of the local American Legion Post. He joins us today to talk about the great things he and his post do for the community and why more veterans need to join. Mr. Bandy, first of all, we thank you for your service and our co- to our country. And uh, secondly, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Bandy, I am Isaiah Adelaide. I'm Andrew's co-host. And I think we should just get started with the question. So I think the question that everybody is probably wondering is, what exactly is the American Legion Post? Like, what do you guys do? And what does being a member uh, involve? Well, it involves many things, all of which, in short, contribute and help support patriotism in this country, not only for our current adults, but our youth as well. We contribute many of our funds thereby where we go out and uh, perform various activities to create funds so that we can, in short, support other veterans, their widows, and other community members, be it a veteran or not in the local community and surrounding area as well. We do a lot of work three times a year. In fact, out of our own pocket, we buy items that are needed, for example, at the Mantino Veterans Home in Mantino, Illinois. We do that three times a year. And again, those contributions actually come from our own pocket. And other areas where we support the community, we have funds like poppy cells um the poppy cell is the uh event where we go to different locations and hand out the red poppy flower to remind citizens of the past sacrifices uh, of our veterans in in previous wars and current and so you're a part of the post and i had some really hard-working guys in it and you you mentioned you guys were a really close-knit group so can you talk about, like, the bond that you guys have? You can't really put it in a short sentence. Um, it's something that is very hard to express and express very differently by many people, especially veterans. In short, it's a brotherhood. Um, we, our membership, Post 1139 in East Hazel Crest, our American Legion Post, consists of mostly a few Vietnam veterans, of lesser number of Korean veterans. And for example, we just lost one of our members who passed away who was a World War II veteran. With our small band of brothers, again, what we are seeking in the purpose of this interview is to get the word out that we need volunteers, tremendously in need of volunteers. So we encourage any veteran that's interested in joining our post to please contact me, Jim Bandy, that's spelled B as in Bob, A-N-D-Y. My phone number is area code 708-297-4170. I repeat, area code 708-297-4170. It's once a month we have a meeting, and throughout the year, we have, again, occasions where we go out to support other veterans and the people in the local community, be it veteran or not. It's a great organization that gives, gives tremendously. But we need new members. I must stress that. That's our main objective of this program is to recruit new members. I encourage any veteran to please contact me and at least allow me a couple of minutes to explain why being a member of the American Legion would be beneficial. Yeah, and, and you mentioned that uh, your post and many around the, the country are suffering a bit when it comes to number of members. Uh, wh- why do you think this is this is happening? Oh, boy. Well, you know, society as a whole is we're all very busy. And it's not because of a lack of patriotism. I think it's the reality is that people are just doing their best between their work schedules and their personal life and whatever's left of that. <laughs> and like I said, we keep it down to once a month. Once a month, you have a meeting where, again, 
I must say, you know, throughout the year there are occasions where we do go out as a group to uh, create funds so we can help our local community. There are people that are often in need, and they let us know, and we respond and do the best that we can. Uh, to answer your question, why is it that membership is so low? It's true in all fraternal organizations, not just the American Legion. Almost every military organization, be it the VFW, uh, the American Legion, uh, the Marine Corps League, uh, any organization actually is having trouble with membership these days. So we're not really alone in that regard. And the why is basically, again, we're just a busy society, and there's not a whole lot of time left to be part of a, a group of people that gives back, sadly. Yeah, we are. Because giving back is always rewarding. Yeah, for sure. And I think the most important thing is getting – young veterans to join and to be a part of the post because the younger they join, the longer they're in it. So if this, is there anything you would say to young veterans, like why they should join? Why is it so important for them and your group? Well, I would like to do that over the phone with them personally. Mm -hmm. uh, but to try to condense this in the limited time that I have, which I understand and very grateful for, by the way, um, the why, again, is, I guess, to continue to serve. Mm -hmm. You know, many of us that are parts of different military organizations, not just the American Legion, we continue to serve our country. Now, I, as a Vietnam veteran, I have to be honest and say that when I came back from Vietnam, the last thing I wanted to do was join a veterans organization. As you know, it was a very unpopular war, and we were treated pretty roughly by our by the American public in general. Uh, it was very painful for many of us. So for that reason, for many years, a lot of us did not get affiliated with any military organization until much later in life. But times have changed, and we've learned our lesson. Our country has grown, and for that I'm extremely proud of America because we have learned from the past, and we've moved forward. As you can see today, the attitude in terms of how we treat our veterans and our current military is extremely admirable. And we do it with respect, and that's the way it should be done. Uh, so we have moved forward. That's that's the good news. And, uh, and uh, like I said, many of us are getting up in years. We need some young guys. <laughs> and uh, you, got, you talked about these uh, monthly meetings. And just for guys who don't know, like, what do these monthly meetings include? What do you guys talk about? What is it? Well, once again, I'll be happy to explain it in detail if they give me a call. But uh -huh. to do my best on this station to answer that question, we we uh, address different issues at hand that have to do with the community. We often get requests by not only the uh, veterans home in Mantino, but other veterans and their wives and family members in the surrounding area where they are coming to us for assistance. And w how we handle that is very contingent upon how much we have in our funds to contribute to write a check, to pay a personal visit to a, a veteran in the hospital, to let them know that he's not forgotten. We do a lot of things. I would have to discuss that probably over the phone. But in general, that's the gist of what we do. We give back. And we continue to serve our country in that way. Yeah, and you, even though we've all been honorably discharged, we continue to serve. And uh, you mentioned this earlier. Uh, let's say there's uh, young veterans uh, listening. Uh, how can they contact you or uh, get more information about joining? Sure. My name is Jim Bandy. He is in Bob A N D Y, and my phone number you can call anytime is area code seven zero eight two nine seven. 4170. I am a Marine that served in 1966 to 1968 in Vietnam. I was with the 2nd Battalion, 26 Marines, 5th Marines. And uh, love to talk to you. Yeah, and, uh, well, Mr. Uh, Bandy, we can't thank you enough for coming on the show today and, uh, and to share your story. Uh, we appreciate your time and hard work in the community. So, again, if you're a veteran, uh, and you're listening to this, it's it's never too late to join. Becoming a member of a post is a great way to continue to serve uh, as well. Um, it's a great 
it's a great way to be a part of a group of men who who share the same experience. So again, thanks, Mr. James Bandy. We'll we'll take a quick break and we'll return when we get back to talk about some more sports and music. But till then, you are currently tuned in to WHFH eighty eight point five FM. <laughs> 